All right, here we have our Doberman puppy. She's got her, she's got her ears are healed. She's been cropped. She's had some beginning posting. She recently came to this country with no posts in her ears because that's how they have to travel. So we want to make sure that it's completely clean in there. I like to generally use a hydrogen peroxide that you buy in the drugstore for this. I don't have it today, but and she's not bad. Um, but the reason that I do that is because it dries, evaporates so quickly that you don't end up with moisture down in the ear canal. The biggest problem that people have is to have moisture down in the ear canal. By putting this post down in the ear canal, we're already creating a situation that's going to make some gunkies down in there. And while it's a very, very good method, we don't want anything damp down in the bottom of the ear canal. That would make a yeast infection. We don't want to go there. All right, you will hold my head. This is the glue that seems to be working the best right now. It's called Ostobond. It is a colostomy glue that uh, folks that have had that surgery use. So it is a skin adhesive. Generally, we don't get any negative reactions from that. It is going to be a little bit yucky. She's a really furry little bugger, so she's going to have a little bit on her hair. There's a little bump right here in the ear. It would be politically incorrect to say that God put it there, but I'm not uh, worried about that because God did put it there, and it's the dotted line. You never put glue below that. You always put your glue above it. And you go all the way to the tip, straight up the center, from that point up. In both ears. And what you want to have happen here is you want this to get a little bit tacky, to dry a little bit. We're going to put some of this glue on the post also. We're going to put it on that part of the post that is on the long side of the point. Because that's the part that's going down inside the ear. These posts might be a little bit long for this puppy's ears. I don't know because I didn't have the puppy when I measured the post this morning. I just cut some off. Six to eight inches. You can always cut them off and make them shorter if you need to. But it's really hard to make them longer, so make them a little long to begin with. When it's your dog and you're doing it at home, you can always measure it. It'll work out a little bit better. Okay, we're going to put this over here so she doesn't stick her foot on it. Now, this is the first year we did, so it's probably going to be a little more tacky than the other ear. Now, we're going down into the ear. The brain's a long ways away from this spot. Don't worry, you're not hurting anything. Push this post down in there so that it's got some sub substance down in the ear. And then pull this ear up tight onto the post. Pull it way up tight. We want this extraordinarily tight because we, want, we don't want a pocket here. Biggest problem with un, uh, for inappropriate ears is that people let this be too relaxed and they keep this all down and then they get this little pocket here and they get these little short looking ears. This dog has a nice medium ear crop so we want her to have the benefit of all the length so that she looks nice. So if they're not squeaking when you're putting it in there, you're not putting it in. Oh, that's not good. And making all sorts of noise. Isn't that right? That's what you told me. To <laughs> She's taping, Brent. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're just a little longer. Now be really careful cutting off this excess. You don't want to recross the dog. When you put the tape at the top of the ear, go over, up and over. Do not go around. Going around cuts off the circulation of the dog's ear and can make that piece of the ear die and fall off. And then you have a dog with an ear who's a half an inch shorter than the other ear. Okay, the other ear. We're getting ready for it. You're too tired to care, sweetie. Same thing. We're going to get really down in there. Get down in that hole. Really push it down in there. Pull this one way up. As high up there as we can. I kind of like to bend the ear around it a little bit. Mold it. Give that glue a chance to really stick on there. Cut off the excess. I always put my finger in the way, so if anybody's going to get hurt, it's going to be me, not the puppy. 
probably a good plan to always put the lid back on your glue right away so that it doesn't get knocked over. Glue's expensive. It's about $15 a bottle. However, it's worth it. You can find this glue at a medical supply store. You have to call around. Most drug stores don't carry it. It's just not something that they sell enough that they would have. So again, if you don't get these tips glued at the top and taped at the top, they come off and they flip. They lean over. And then you get a, a Doberman. You'll see a lot of Dobermans with the little ears at the top and they look all flippy and they're not firm and straight and, and solid. And that's because nobody kept these ears up here at the tip. Okay, next step. She says, wow, it's about having enough. This has been just too much fun, guys. More noise. Okay. Again, this is a breathable cloth tape. When you tape the ear, you always go toward the nose. Doesn't matter which ear it is. Forward toward the nose. Back around under to support. Around. There's your base. Take your hand, kind of squeeze it together there. Make it firm. There's your base. If these ears don't stand straight up with this post in it, we can make a bridge across to hold them up. But she's looking kind of like this is going to work without the bridge. Which direction are we going to take this? To the nose. To the nose, exactly. My gosh, you were listening. Good for you. Tape it to the tape. It works better that way. To the nose. Come forward. Coming around. And see, I'm pulling this up when I do it. I'm trying to keep that pocket out of there. Come around. Under. Under this bell. Kind of lifts it up. Supports it. Come back around. And we have a posted puppy. Smile for the camera. One Doberman posted puppy. There you go.